ever heard of responsibility? While you're up here playing out some ridiculous fantasy about socializing with the cranes, Mom is making the dinner that you were supposed to cook. Well, speaking of dinner, I better get home. Don't go. I think I better. Night, Louise. <sighs> Whitney, Mom has been on her feet all day working. I'll go help her, okay? Just leave me alone. Oh, wait, Teresa. Watch my nails. <laughs> I just did them. What am I gonna do with you? Don't be mad at me, Teresa. You still love your big brother, don't you? I'd love you a lot more if you'd stop yelling at me all the time. I'm sorry. I just want what's best for you, and that's why it worries me to see you get caught up in these crazy dreams. Wearing expensive clothing, jewelry, caught up with the cranes. It's just not gonna happen. What's that supposed to mean? That I'm going to be a maid like Mama? No. But if you work hard and go to college, you can have a better life. And that's what I want for you, and that's what Mama wants for you, too. But if you keep on with these foolish dreams... They're not foolish. Teresa! What do you know? You've never had dreams. Oh, I've never had dreams? I've never had dreams. Oh, I used to dream I'd go to college. Maybe study law. Why didn't you then? Well, it just wasn't the right time. Papa? I mean, the family needed money. You, Mikel, you, you were just kids. And we couldn't live on that measly salary from the cranes. So I became a cop. I never knew, Louise. Ah, being a policeman's a good job. Pays okay. Health benefits for the whole family. That's not fair. You had to give up your dream for us. Teresa, family comes first. Their real dreams aren't. Are you saying I shouldn't have dreams? No. Don't dream the impossible. You're dreaming that you're going to live like a crane. That's impossible. Just give it up before you get hurt.